Hello, I'm Leo, and I'm going to read "Who Moved Night Cheese for Kids." Once upon a time, there lived four little friends named Sniff, Scurry, Ham, and Howl. Every morning, they put on their running shoes and got ready to look for what made them happy: magical cheese. Magical cheese was special because when you found it, it made you feel good about yourself. It was hidden somewhere in big maze, where there were many different places to go. Sniff and Scurry were very smart and always remembered where they had been before. So they kept exploring in new places where the cheese might be. Sniff had a great nose. He could sniff the air and smell where the cheese was. Scurry had fast feet. He could scurry ahead and get to the cheese quickly. Ham and Haw were also smart. They read, read books and studied maps to find the magical cheese. Let's try to go this way. Haw could say. I'm not sh- so sure," Ham would answer. Ham and Hal did not want to get lost in any dark corners, so they went through the maze slowly, one step at a time. Day after day, the four friends searched through the large maze to find the cheese. They went into dark areas and ran into dead ends. But then they just turned around and headed off in a new direction. Then all of a sudden, one lucky day, it happened. All four friends found something wonderful. What do you think it was? They found magic cheese. It was inside one of the. Large rooms called Cheese Station C. If it had been there all the time, just waiting for someone to find it. Whoopee! cried Ha. Hooray! Yelled Sniff and Scurry. Ham shouted, "There's enough here to last us all forever." Sniff liked the orange slices that smelled nice. Scurry nibbled one on the hard yellow cubes of cheese. Ham liked the kind with holes in it, and Ha enjoyed the soft white cheese, sharp like a wheel. Each began to imagine what the magical cheese could bring them. Sniff pictures himself playing with new friends at Blue Cheese Park. Scurry imagined himself scoring the winning goal in cheese sack. Hall saw himself getting good grades at Bry Elementary School, and Ham dreamed he lived in a great home at Top Swiss Cheese Hill. Later, as night fell, they all headed towards their little houses. The next morning, Sniff and Scurry woke up early and laced up their running shoes. They raced through the maze straight to Cheese Station C. When they got there, Sniff smelled the cheese to see it was still fresh, and Scurry measured it to see how much was left. When they were satisfied. There was enough cheese for another day. They took off their running shoes and hung them around their necks so they could find them quickly if they needed them again. Then Sniff and Scurry settled in and began to enjoy the magical cheese. Meanwhile, Ham and Hal slept later and later. We already know where the cheese is," Ham thought. "I don't need to hurry," Ha yawned. 
It's comfortable here in my bed. I'll just sleep a little more. When Ham and Ha finally arrived at the cheese station, see, they made themselves right at home. Ham built himself a cheese chair to relax in. Ha wrote on the wall, "Having cheese makes you happy." Day after day, Sniff and Scurry got up early, scurried over to. Cheese station C and measured the cheese to see what was happening. But Ham and Hal slept later and later every day. They did not pay much attention to the cheese. They just expected it to always be there. Can you see what was happening to the cheese? Then one morning, Sniff and Scurry arrived early at Cheese Station C to find that the cheese was gone. They were not completely surprised because, since they had noticed, the supply of cheese had been getting smaller. They knew that they were going to have to go back into the maze to look for new cheese. I bet it will be just as good as the old cheese," said Scurry. "Even better," said Sniff. He squealed. "The new cheese will be even better." Much later, Ham and Ha arrived at Empty Cheese Station C. They looked around. They could not believe their eyes. Ham yelled, "What? No cheese? No cheese? Who moved my cheese?" Ham got very angry. He thought the cheese would always be his, something he deserved to have, no matter what. He jumped up and down, shouting, "It's not fair!" Hal was just as disappointed as Sam, but he didn't did not yell or snap, stamp his feet. Hal stood perfectly still, like a statue. He did not know what to do. He was shocked. Then Hal noticed something. Ham, he said, "Where is Sniff and Scurry?" 